World War II is one of my favorite part of history because of how interesting it was. Of course game developers will make a game about it since it had so many tragedies. And being part of it as a mere soldier? You sold me on that one. Experiencing horrible history with your own eyes. It was next generation. That's why Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, Wolfenstein and more war related games got so popular back in the days. But the game I chose was not popular, and you will see why. Before I start, I want to be clear that this game was not during World War II, instead Evans was after it, during Vietnam War, as you see in the screen. Timeline is closed, but still, I want to be clear. And god damn it, music is so loud, why does it have to be so loud when I'm choosing? Before we get into game, I want to check option screen, like last time. Well, option screen looks pretty decent. Audio, which is really important since music is out of question here. There's video options, which is not quite high. Uh, keys are rebindable, which is nice, and that's about it. Let's hop back to the game and see how good it is. Easy or hard? Well, that's a weird choice. Where's medium? I'm gonna choose easy since I never played this game before and I'm not really a hardcore also. At the very start we are dropped in the middle of the swamp telling us that we have to help friends who got ambushed by the gooks? Gooks? Why this game had to be so racist? At least they didn't name them gooses. Game also included iron sights which are just weird and doesn't have any influence to the game. I think it actually has disadvantage because it limits your view. And why is it transparent? I don't get it. Well, I died. Mission failed. You are dead. How did this mission fail because of one dead soldier? I can't imagine that in any kind of way. Imagine when USSR was attacking Nazi army and one of USSR soldiers died. Whole army wouldn't retreat, will it? I just chose that stupid. Wait. Who's damaging me? <laughs> no, it, it can be. Are you trying to tell me that these sticks are hurting me? And it was a culture why I died last time. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to continue anymore. But I will, just for you. Mission 2. I just noticed that there are subtitles in the middle of the screen. They couldn't make the simplest thing decent, couldn't they? Even Pistol has silencer. Is there a stealth system in this game? Never mind that, I am low health and our medic doesn't patch me up. Great, I have a squad full of disabled soldiers and I am dead. Useless medic. Oh my god, what's up with these grenades? Everyone are spamming it and doesn't give a single damn. Quick save? Okay, there's nothing okay with this game and god give me a sign that I am correct. <laughs> What the hell? What was that? He's dead. There wasn't even a shot sound. This guy just died from a heart attack. Well, unlucky him. I'm gonna get more of those gooks. But I have to give credit to this game. They actually tried to make ragdolls, yet they miserably failed. it just turns out hilarious. Finally we come to the end of mission 2 where they hit their own ally and because of it I thought they were my allies but I was wrong and they killed me with a grenade. I freaking hate grenades in this game they always kill me with it because they just don't stop spamming them every freaking time. Now when I thought this game couldn't get any worse it actually did they kicked me right at the nuts with the frame rate. What killed my frame rate? Probably all those grenades and gooks. Wow, this game got repetitive quite fast. Kill enemies, plant explosives, kill more. Only stages and events give variety. At least that's how it is in Mission 3. In Mission 4, Black Person tells us that we have to clear the village where there are about 20 of it. I kept killing them and I eventually came to this spot where I meet this guy that it cannot hit me. 
Look, look at this. I'm right in front of him. I'm not taking any cover. I'm standing still and he cannot hit me until I come closer. You feeling alright there, buddy? Yeah, I will release you from the pain. Wait, where are you going? Oh, you want to park? Alright, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, come back! What the... What the hell is going on here? I can't jump in. Maybe from the... Holy moly in my holy! Uh, what the... Damn is happening here! After reloading the game, everything got back to normal. <laughs> And I don't want it to repeat ever again. I got into that boat alright, and man, this part is so boring. You shoot, 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 get off the boat and blow some machine guns. Now, wh why are these machine guns so special? What What's wrong with the other ones? I mean, we got past them really fast and easily. Why are we supposed to blow these ones? Well, I got back to the boat and we go to the mission 5. There's nothing special about this one, in fact it looks more like a ripoff of Call of Duty 1. A player goes from point A to point B just to kill a single sniper in a building while killing 10,000 enemies on his way. I mean, why are they sending so many troops here when they left a machine gun here? It's so... I want to say stupid, but that would be repetitive. After advancing through that machine gun part, you go into the building and the uh, protagonist tells you Oh watch out, there are traps! Uh, did I tell you that game really likes to put traps to player? But they couldn't make it any more obvious. All that's left here are signs and billboards saying Trap here. Then I come to this part where he is stunned. Why everybody is so stunned in this game? Oh, also cutscenes are so cheesy in this game that it can actually kill you. Isn't that cheap? Whoa, what's up with this field of view? Did I use some kind of drugs? Jesus. Later on, I go into a building and it says, I need a ladder to go up there. I was looking through the whole map just to see there are ladders right in front of me. Why did the protagonist need to say that? It confused me as hell. You come up the building, you go down and kill a sniper and that's how the mission ends. It doesn't tell you where did you go or did you meet allies, it doesn't tell you anything, it just ends like that. Mission 6. Your allies leaves you alone into the forest to blow up enemy's artillery. Right off the bat you have given two choices. Either go to left or right. If you go to the left, there's dead end. Like, you just wasted your health and ammo. So you go straight to the right. You keep walking, killing, until you see this bunker. It doesn't shoot whenever you aim at it, which is so weird. Why did they include that? So it's like a peekaboo game. If you look at him, he will not do anything. It's like those ghosts in Mario. Poor guy, you blow up him later and then keep going on your own road. I just noticed in this mission that protagonist speaks to himself a lot. Gotta get through to the courtyard. The wall in that corner there looks weaker. Maybe we can blow it down. How does he know that this wall is weaker? It doesn't have any cracks or anything to indicate it. Also, we're talking about explosions. Explosion can take down the whole building, but but a wall? Nope, no, no, it has to be special wall. Mission 7. You wake up in the ambush trying to hold off until the helicopter comes down to help you. You jump in and the heavy metal starts to kick in. Which you don't hear it over machine gun sounds. Then the helicopter tells you, oh watch out there's RPG. And which doesn't do anything. It just shoots at you and nothing happens. Neither your health goes down, neither the helicopter goes down. So I don't know what's that about. When you are nearing the end of the mission, you have to shoot down helicopters one by one. Like literally, they're just staying there in line waiting to get shot. After shooting them down, you end the mission. Just like that. 
five minutes of mission i just i couldn't make this up all right last mission mission eight i assume the protagonist crashed and woke up in the middle of the sanctum which is really weird since it's all barricaded and it's full ammo i don't see any crashed helicopter around me if you stay too long there's gonna be too many enemies to fight off so the game literally tells you that you have to shoot your way through and escape later on helicopter comes to help you and then my game crashed well that's info wait what i thought i was playing the hell in vietnam not terrorist takedown war in colombia couldn't be that this game was a ripoff or even worse a bootleg shame on you for some reason the game always crashes at this very point so i changed my tactics and just rushed through the enemies uh, hold on I, I need to scratch my back uh, hey, 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 wait wait what what how did i finish the mission wait what what, what about the credits nothing just mission completed that's it uh nothing this is even worse than the game i played before i just what well whatever and bottom line this game sucks and just don't play it i played it for you because i love you I hope you enjoyed my video, if you want more I will make more, bye!